familiar with the storytelling uh, concept for a while, but this is the first time I've ever actually showed up at one of these events. <laughs> yeah. I've up to tell a story. And you know, in life, you get only one chance to do something for the first time, and this is mine. <laughs> yeah. So tonight, as we all know, this, the topic is luck. And you know, luck is that one of those things where by its very nature, you can't predict it, you can't count on it, you can't rely on it. It's just at certain moments in your life, inexplicably, it just kind of shows up out of the blue, and for those moments, you're lucky. You don't know why, but you say, oh, hey, right now I'm lucky, I'm just gonna ride this wave as long as I can. <laughs> so when I was in my 20s, I had a friend who had a, a, he had a nickname, it wasn't his real name, his nickname was Slick. Um, I'm not going to tell you how he got his nickname because that has nothing to do with luck. <laughs> but he lived in a different city, and uh, I would visit him maybe two or three times a year on a weekend. And every time I did that, at some point, we would go out to a local bar that had pool tables, and we would have a few beers, we would have some uh, steam clams, and at some point, we would get up and we would shoot some pool. Now, when it comes to playing pool, Slick wasn't good, but he wasn't bad. I, on the other hand, was really bad. But that was okay, because I didn't care. I didn't take it seriously. I wasn't really, I didn't care about winning or losing. I was just having fun, hanging out with my buddy, having a few beers, knocking some balls around. And uh, to me, I wasn't really playing a game. I was just goofing off, and it was fun. So on one of these occasions, something that had never happened before occurred. These two guys came up to us, and they challenged us to a game. So Slick and I look at each other, and we're like, what? These guys are challenging us to a game? So we said, sure, what the heck? We'll, we'll go ahead and play a game. And I told them, look, I'm not very good. I don't, I don't really play this game, OK? I'm just kind of goofing off. But you want to play a game? Fine, we'll play a game. So now we have two teams. Their team goes first. One guy gets up, tries to knock a ball into the pocket. It bounces around the table, doesn't go into a pocket. So his turn's up. Now it comes over to our team, and Slick and I had decided that he would go first because he was the better player. He got up, tried to knock a ball into the pocket, bounced around the table, didn't go into a pocket. His turn's up. Now it goes over to the other team. The second guy gets up, tries to knock a ball in, bounces around the table, doesn't go in. His turn's up. Back to our team. Now it's my turn. I get up, and I go to knock a ball, in, and it goes right into the pocket. I thought, huh, that's interesting. So it's still my turn. So I get up uh, to go for the second ball, and I tried to knock that one in, and it went right into the pocket. And I thought, wow, that's unusual. <laughs> so it's still my turn. Uh, so I went for the third one. I can't, it didn't go right into the pocket, but it bounced around the table a little bit, and then it slowly meandered its way into a pocket. It wasn't the pocket I was aiming for, but that doesn't matter, as long as it goes in somewhere. So at this point, Slick and I start laughing, because we both know that I'm a lousy pool player, and I just knocked in three in a row. First one, that was interesting. Second one, that was unusual. Third one, that was absurd. <laughs> so it's still my turn. I go for the fourth one, bounced around the table a little bit, slowly meandered its way into a pocket. Now at this point, the other guys are looking at me and they're thinking, what's going on here? This guy told us he's a lousy pool player. He just knocked in four in a row. And Slick and I are cracking up laughing because we both know I'm a lousy pool player. I just, I just got four in a row. First one, interesting. Second one, unusual. Third one, absurd. Fourth one, now it was beyond absurd. So it's still my turn. So I went for a fifth one. And um, it, what do you think happened? It, <laughs> bingo. Um, and so at that point, the other guys are looking at me and they're thinking, this guy's a pool shark. He told us he was no good. He's, this guy's messing with us. And Slick and I are practically rolling on the floor, laughing, because I just knocked in five in a row. First one, interesting. Second one, unusual. Third one, absurd. 
Fourth one, beyond absurd. Fifth one, now we were in the twilight zone. <laughs> well, I would love to tell you that when I went for the sixth one that I knocked it in, but the story has to be true. So I didn't get the sixth one in, and that ended my streak. And I think the other players, the two guys and my friend Slick, I think they were really relieved because now they had a chance to get up and do something more interesting than watch me knock balls into pockets. But the upshot is that Slick and I, um, we won the game because I had this streak that put us so far ahead that the other guys couldn't catch up. Uh, now, how did that happen? It had nothing to do with skill, talent, practice. It was just sheer, inexplicable, out of the blue, dumb luck. And I didn't try to think about it. I didn't try to analyze it. didn't try to figure it out. I just said, I don't know why this is happening, but I'm going to ride this wave as far as I can. And I did. <laughs> I, <laughs> now, that happened several decades ago. And I still cherish the memory. That's my story. <laughs> Jeff, everybody.